happy August, August 1st, and we're already starting off strong. I just placed my order for the ColourPop Strawberry Palette. Forget if it's like a strawberry sherbet or like the specific name of it. I'm just gonna keep that little pump on my head right now. <laughs> yeah, today we're gonna be trying on a new foundation. I know that there are like 50 million foundations that are gonna come out. Aren't you overwhelmed? I am. We're gonna be focusing on this. <laughs> I finally managed to go to Ulta and pick up the Stay Naked foundation. I just wanted to pull it out so that you guys could just get a good idea of how this looks in and when using it. So just in and out of the side of the box. The foundation shade that I chose going off of a Fenty 300, it is 51 WY. Here it is just white with the color of the foundation all around the box. That's pretty cool. It's just Stay Naked weightless foundation. It is 1.0 fluid ounces. Good things happen when you're naked. I mean, a shower. A nice cold shower, yes. Thank you, Urban Decay. <laughs> My boyfriend actually laughed at the name Urban Decay. What did he say? I think he just said it sounds like some ska band. And I'm like, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> so yeah, the inside of the bottle looks really nice. What is this? This is like the box. The inside of the box looks like a floral pattern. Yeah, just a bunch of flowers. That's pretty cool. And that's just how it looks like right on the inside. So I tried as best as I could to keep with Urban Decay products. Um, I only have an Urban Decay finishing spray. We all know which one that is. The Born to Run palette, a little sample lipstick that I got from that, their space powder. It honestly should be called Space Dust, this thing. It should be called Space Dust, it'd be so much prettier. That highlighter, the foundation, and that's pretty much it. I don't have that much of um, any of their other stuff because I don't hear anybody rave about like their blushes or their bronzers and I really haven't sought them out like Fenty and then Too Faced and a bunch of even other like drugstore products have those covered so so I'm just gonna start off with priming my face since the Urban Decay foundation does promise to be a weightless liquid foundation 24 hour wear with a real skin like matte finish that's weird. So I'm gonna just go in with my Maybelline Master Prime and this one just keeps me hydrated all day. It's the the blue one primer base. Hydrate and smooth in 050. So we're just gonna. So on the site, I know that it does recommend uh, three ways to get from the complete full coverage to medium coverage to low coverage. It's not glass, it just feels like a nice model. It's, I feel like this was gonna be long and bulky, but it is almost the same length as my Fenty foundation. So you can just see like that. It is wider. Actually, it is maybe by like a centimeter or two centimeters and just longer. So this thing is gonna have to sit on top of my vanity or just in the drawers, we'll see how this one works out. But you know, the little finish there on both sides of the cap is pretty nice. It's just like a nice reflective gold copper color. The pump is there, it's facing the wrong way. And this little indent, I mean, I guess, I guess it's nice to hold it like that, but you just hold a bottle, it's pretty much just like this to squirt it out. I know that it does recommend like a flat brush for full coverage, a sponge for medium coverage, which is what I'm gonna try today. Now that the primer has been setting, I'm just gonna put a little rose water spray on my sponge. And this is just typical e.l.f. sponge. It's more porous than the regular like blending sponge, but I just prefer this one to get really into here. And I'm just gonna shake this a bit. And pump it out. All right, let's see. I hope that you guys like this focuses on that first. Aw. The joys of a brand new bottle. <laughs> I did try to match this at Ulta. I ended up getting the 51WY, and I feel like this was in the medium, like neutral range. So I'm just gonna start patting that out. 
putting that in. Now this foundation is $39 and so far just complete first impressions. I'm happy that I did pick up this color because it does match my skin pretty well. It seems to be getting like, I do have a bit of redness around my nose and then I get a little bit of green undertone right above my lip. That is pretty nice. Maybe just spread that right on the neck. Uh, today I'm not going to go in with any concealer just because I just want to have the focus on this foundation and see how it does cover because this is going to be medium coverage with a sponge. I feel like it does have like a bit of a smelly like 2% of a bit of painty smell compared to like anything from Fenty or Maybelline but that's not, you know. It's, it's fine. Like, uh, any smells doesn't bother me unless it does smell kind of vanilla-y or just has like a signature. It's supposed to smell good, but it can be a little bit overwhelming, especially on the face. This does feel pretty nice. I feel like it does level my skin pretty well. And it's still kind of glowing. That's nice. Um, I will say, just compared to another one, another high-end, high-end, because it's like more than $20, <laughs> Uh, compared to Fenty, this does feel much, much lighter on my face. Like I, it doesn't even, oh, it feels a little, a little tacky, but that's not bad, especially if I want to build on it and it does promise to be buildable. It comes in 50 shades, which is awesome. More the merrier, of course. Um, I, from being in the light to medium range, it just varies light, medium in the winter and then maybe like two to three shades more down in the summertime, which is what I am right now. But yeah, it comes with nine shade intensifiers, three master tones, and seven undertones, which I try to stick with green olive to neutral, completely neutral. That's just, you know, what I've been told and like <laughs> seeing the veins under your skin and just trying to see what fits. So I kind of stick to that medium to neutral range. We're gonna go in with a little bit of setting powder. And this is just the Joa Selfie Ready Powder. I just put some in here to make that a bit lighter and to set the foundation in. Mainly in the areas where I sweat immediately, like the second that I walk out the door. I just thought that I upgraded to buying like a new black desk lamp or mirror with that light in it. But it's like the ones that you touch for different, um, lighting intensities and I accidentally always touch it so it always goes off since I have it on the last like highest light setting. It's It still feels a bit tacky so I feel like I don't have to rush to finish the rest of my face. I don't see any transfers yet but we're just gonna be just that on. So I managed to pick this up because right now all the blush and bronzers are 30% off so I believe they were like $20 or $21, something like that. Right now I only have the Dandelion, but for the longest time I've been wanting to try California and I've been wanting to try the Hoola and the Dallas bronzers. This was, I think, $59 and I was already gonna get three of them. So this one has, this is just where the little brush was gonna come. So this one has the California. I wanna try the Tickle because she said that this is just a different highlighter from the dandelion one that they have. I wanted to try Hula, I was gonna get Dallas, and I'll try the blush, why not? I'm just gonna bronze my face. I've really been wanting to try Dallas, so I'm just gonna go in with that one. Oh wow, that's a really nice color. The only one I've been using is Fenty, but I wanna give it a break. <laughs> I'm so excited for autumn. I've just, I see that there are a bunch of stores already that have Halloween decorations and I'm already set for my Halloween costume. I just wanna put pumpkins on the balcony, and put scary ghosts on the window. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of weird with like ColourPop coming out with a strawberry collection in August. I would have hoped and expected that to have been in early summer. Their whole collection is just a bunch of reds, which like they get, I'd be more than happy to get like a burgundy kind of more cool tones since August is starting, but I mean, it is kind of still summer. I 
not really. July is more fun for summer. <laughs> so now that I'm really looking at my whole face instead of just my problem areas, I do see that I still see a little bit of like all the spickle and spat uh, blemishes, not blemishes, but just marks that I have on my face. So I would say that it is medium coverage. Like you could still, so I have some foundation to just completely cover this little birthmark here and this birthmark over there. But it's not the end of the world. Like I've been told that the way I apply my makeup, it looks like I don't have anything on, but my skin looks great. So I'm happy, more than happy with that. So I can just you know, pretend that I have nice skin. <laughs> We're gonna be taking another Urban Decay product, and I haven't actually used this in a while. This does have a smell, from what I remember. I, I haven't used the primer potion in so long. Oh wow, yeah, that is a bit drying. Because I've been just um, putting on the MAC Paint Pop, but then also in between that, I've just been using the NYX eyeshadow primer. And I, I haven't been using primer at all. Like, there are a couple of eyeshadows that I could just apply with my fingers, and especially in the summer, since I don't wear that much up here, I just put a highlighter in my inner, inner corners. Let's just finish off with brows. It's like 70 degrees in my apartment, but I'm still sweating in here in the bedroom, oh my god. I can't imagine having like the professional lights and just have that beaming on me. So I'll stick to natural lighting, which honestly, this is what I'm gonna be facing day to day after I apply any of this stuff. So if you can hold just regular old warm room, I could definitely be outside. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be going in with the Born to Run palette. I haven't revisited Urban Decay lipsticks. I don't know. I feel like I used to be a fan of matte lipsticks, but now I've been appreciating a bunch more of the shimmery kind or glossy finish kinds and just more nudes. So yeah. I think I just traded up for a MAC lipstick, which ironic because I said I just switched out of that, but the colors are just more vibrant, I think, and smaller. Because I think that tube was like that big, while the MAC one is like that tiny. So, I mean, no hate on Urban Decay. I looked at you guys for my first neutral palette, which wasn't the best, but you more than made it up with Born to Run. <laughs> so I went into just still a shot and then just put in my the blending color of Weekender. This is honestly why I love this palette so much because like this whole time I thought that my Tarte, I feel it's called Hidden Treasures palette, has the most range of neutral tra like transition shades that I can find but since Weekender came out it's like oof, it's completely changed my ways on that. Yeah I'm gonna go with a warm warm colors on my eyes since you'll see what I talk about what I'm talking about with the neutral lipstick. So I've just been playing around with um, Baja and Still Shot just for the ends over here. Just put that color in. I wish my lids were as big as it looks when I have my eyes looking down but normally it's like completely covered. <laughs> Um, and then just for any final touch, we're just going to go in with all the shine right in the middle. So, I think I'm going to go in with Accelerate. Oh yeah. I actually forgot mascara. We'll just take out mascara. So, I'm going to have to reach for that. So, I'm still just peeking over and looking at how my skin looks as I keep applying more product and for the most part, you know, it looks pretty good. I, again, as I mentioned earlier, I still see a couple of blemishes. The pink from my cheeks is still coming out, which I'm happy about. That just means that I don't have to pack on more product than I need to. Honestly, if this foundation just stays on, I, 
and I'm sorry, but I feel like I could skip out on the Anastasia one. Depending on the price, like, because I know that right now the Stay Naked foundation goes for $39. <sighs> Anything more than 20 bucks, I'm gonna have to like consider. So once I purchase this, that's why I'm kind of like just on the fence if I should get the Anastasia one or the Pat McGrath one. I probably end up getting both. So I'm just gonna finish off with that and ooh, yes. That's the first time that I put more than two shimmers in my eyes, and I'm kind of happy with that. <laughs> if one thing that I want to get out of this channel is that I want to improve in my makeup skills. <laughs> I want to be able to know how to paint my face. Like, it's different for everybody, but you know, especially for a newbie like me, like, I, if I could just get better, even do a cut crease one day. Oh speak it into existence. So now that we're done with eyes and I'm just gonna need to put on some mascara, I'm gonna go in with Dandelion. This is my current big foofy blush that I honestly use strictly with the Charlotte Tilbury cheek to cheek blush. I love that blush so much. I feel like that blush needs to have its own video so that I can really scream at the world on why it's really good. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna go in with dandelion, just tiny, tap, tap that on. It's pretty faint, but that's fine <laughs> since all the colors are in my eyes and I just wanna keep it that way. I feel like just right on my, I guess the ball of my cheek, I don't know. I'm just gonna put a bit of California. Oh, that's really nice. Hell yeah. Thank you, cashier at Ulta. Oh my God. Oh no, oh wait. So, I'm concerned. <laughs> um, the tip. Oh no, okay. The tip of California had a very, that very nice like golden highlight that you can see right on my cheeks. But since I kept tapping into it even more, it kind of disappeared. Where's that color benefit? Where's that gold? Because I want that. Oh my God, could you imagine this with just that look and then just a spicy or neutral, just maxi dress? Holy shit, I want that right now. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that color is still there. I'm kind of, I'm happy with it. So that's it so far. I'm just gonna probably skip this part, but I'm gonna really zoom into my mirror, the other side, which is like the four times magnification and really look at this foundation. What I will say that I am missing is a bit of warmth to my skin. Granted, um, the bronzer kind of just fits really well with my skin tone, but the other bronzers that I normally use have like a bit of an orange to yellowy undertone, so they really just accent my whole face. I'm just gonna try to really dig into Dallas. Maybe that's why. It's kind of pretty like pinkish reddish compared to Hula that's much warmer. So I'm just, actually, let me try Hula. Yeah, I feel like this, is bringing that out more. Damn! This whole face palette I feel like needs a video on its own. A bunch of these products do, but you know what? We're back, so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. Okay, so the lip that I have is this tiny bolt. It's so small. I don't even, I think I got this in like a, one of those Sephora reward set things and the color is Back Talk. It is a comfort matte color. So, let's see. That doesn't fit. <laughs> well, I totally forgot I even had that color. It's actually pretty nice. Imagine this with a purple look. I would dig that. So, this didn't work out because that's not the color that I expected I was gonna get. So we're just gonna wipe that off. <laughs> I just decided to end up using Maybelline Crazy for Coffee. The number is 275. And I'm just gonna go on top with the NYX Lip Cream in CMLC. Do they have names? These would be really pretty as 
All the medals, God, they were like planet or galaxy names. So this is a bunch of red, which is fine. Once I lower my hair, I'm not gonna look weird. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go in with a couple of final details of, you know, when you don't have a whole step-by-step -step thing or what favorite routine you like to do, I just kind of push and pull and see what works in the end, so. And with all additional details, I feel like we need to finally finish off with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. For final thoughts, I feel like I did, I, well, you know, I clearly did more work in the eyes and the lips, but my face is fine. Right now the base just seems completely good. It's nice and shiny. The highlighter sits well on top of it. It doesn't feel tacky anymore, which is pretty nice. Um, I've always felt like a bit more of a heavier kind of texture when I use a Fenty. And of course my Maybelline just blends in, but that's like untouchable. And yeah, I'm happy with it. Good on your Urban Decay. This feels really nice and I'm more than happy to... Oh no! <laughs> I forgot to use the Space Dust Highlighter. <laughs> oh God. But you know what? I like the warm tones. Okay, we're just gonna put in a little bit on the nose. And a little bit here. Oh damn. Yes, this was needed. Again, this should really be called Space Dust. God, this thing's like untouched, except for like a little bit of sparkles here and there. But right now, from my angle, looking above, I don't see any darkness around here. I feel like I maybe see a little bit of just purple right into my eyes. When I look down, I do see a little bit of the my eye bag, but it's not the end of the world. I'm more than happy to put in more color on my lips or my eyes like this so that it just doesn't put any attention to all the other imperfections. But for right now, I'm happy with this. I don't know if I would get the concealer. It's just because I have the NARS concealer. I have the Juvia's Place concealer. So I'm set. But foundation, I'd be more than happy to get it because I use this a lot more. <laughs> I would have thought to read this, but I forgot that I just had my Ulta bag just sitting on the floor over there. It looks very sad. So yeah, weightless liquid foundation up to 24 hours. I would definitely like to give this a shot. Um, I've been meaning to just go into the city and run around all day just to get out of the house. And I'm definitely gonna try that once that day comes around. Final, final first impression thoughts. It looks good. I don't, I feel like now it's it is a little, a tinge bit more yellow, which I'm happy with. So I need to double check if this oxidizes or not. Just keep that in mind. I know that my Fenty one definitely does. But this settled pretty nice, and I still have just a nice glow to my face, so yeah. I just figured I'd add this in. Edit me will do all of this magic, I hope. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you guys like this video or not. Thumbs up or thumbs down. I'm more than happy to accept any feedback as I'm just storming through these videos and finally uploading and improving on this journey. <laughs> Thank you guys so much and I hope you have a nice week and or weekend, depending on when this is posted. Um, in terms of what schedule I want to pick or just want to stick to, probably be midday to weekend uploads. So yeah, stay tuned. Bye guys!